Hi all and welcome to my sixth vlog on the coaching process. What I'm going to show you here today is a session that I ran a few months back. Um, it was a plyometric, some plyometric drills integrated with the technical um, practice um, for football. Now what, what we were doing is we were, obviously, we were going to go into a football session afterwards and so prior to this, this is kind of the end stage of a warm up if you like. Um, so what I've got here is, is like I say, an integrated drill um, on a quite a big area with uh, 11 players. Now, I've, for the task, the, the first event that I'm going to talk about is really, you know, the initial stage of, of the, the drill or the session. And this is the demo. So now, obviously, you can see me, I'm demoing to the, to the uh, players and I'm obviously running it through as I go. Now... You know, first things first, the attention's not massively there from all of the players. And this is probably as a result of the way that I've obviously got everybody's attention to start. And more so, I think, of the way that I'm actually delivering um, the demo. So I'm obviously kind of probably almost rushing it a little bit because, you know, we have a limited time to get this done by. And, you know, obviously the, the technical coaches are waiting to do their session too. But what I've done is obviously gone straight into it and kind of give a lot of visual and audible information as well and what that's obviously done is made the, the drill go wrong so you can see already that players have run past the stations they were supposed to be at there there's not enough um, you know the balls aren't in the right places and um, so it's kind of made the, the start of the, the session quite messy now I think it's massively important in whatever we're doing um, to to make the session really intense from the outset also with the demo, I've not really given a lot of information on the actual plyometric drill. Now, I understand that when you integrate these kind of things, we can get a little bit of crossover or of focus um, from the technical aspects, i.e. the football part, to the, the physical element. Now, you know, I haven't given any coaching points, which I do rectify um, at a later point, which is in about 20 seconds or so. So I've just stopped it here and I've kind of gone back over um, some some of the key points that we needed to uh, do but as an actual session what I probably should have done is, is set it up uh, with some key criteria that I wanted the players to meet i.e. technical points um, so that they're able to do this when they were doing the hurdle jumps or the uh, single leg takeoff through the pole. The coaching behaviour that I wanted to discuss is my positioning during the session. Now, I often find myself getting a little bit frustrated with this aspect uh, during a lot of sessions, whether it be off-field or on-field. And what I do is you can see, and you've probably noticed already, that I, I kind of move around a little bit too much for my liking. I think it's just a bit of a, a bad habit. Now, what I'd, what I'd like to do is, is get um, a bit, bit more of a fixed position at times. and I think um, because I'm busy and around and I'm, I often give information that's probably not um, clear and direct, it's more what I suppose we'd call hustle. Um, now, I think you know if I had a better fixed uh, position, I could get a better view of the players, which would allow me to give them more clear information on key aspects, physical aspects of the session, i.e. their takeoffs and landings. What I'll do here is show you the better part of the drill now. Like I said at the start, I probably didn't get attention and deliver a, a sufficient demo um, with the relevant information. But hopefully by now, with interjection of you know coaching points and, and information regarding the flow of the drill, I've, you know, we've probably got a better flow and um, and better work from the players. So I just thought I'd put that in there to show you that I kind of did rectify it with more more information later on. But whole heart, you know, absolutely admit that um, better demo and information at the start of the session would would give um, a better outcome for the athletes.